Mm. Uh, yes, a bit of a, well, a very sad video today, which I didn't know I'd be filming until five, ten minutes ago. Everything's happened super quickly. Um, yes, the title thumbnail, it's not clickbait. It's, I don't know what we're going to put yet. I mean, I, we haven't had time to decide about it, but this is probably going to be my last, or could potentially be my last video ever with um, my Audi R8. Whoa, that's emo- I, I actually just got a bit emotional saying that. Right, let's get in, go for a drive, because I need to explain. Got to film on my phone, because we- I don't know, I'll see this again. quite sad because this all came fairly abruptly. Now the engine's warm. Oh, oh. Jesus, this thing is special. This thing is seriously special. So, what's happened? <laughs> okay, this car has to go back to the UK because it has been out of the UK for a while and just legally needs to go back onto British soil. Ryan Drive car, registered in the UK. So it has to be shipped back to England anyways. Now, it needs to go back to England and coincidentally, my insurance for this car is up for renewal um, at the end of this month. And as you can imagine, British plated car, 23 year old bloke, it's, it's a hefty bit of cash. So, such a long gearing and that noise is just so recognizable. So insurance is up for renewal, car has to go back to the UK. Am I going to, you know, just send it back up? It needs to stay there for like a minimum of about three months. I can't go to the UK currently because I don't want to have to quarantine for two weeks. And it's just a complicated scenario at the moment with COVID. But the car has to go up there. So I can't drive it up, it needs to be trucked up. And then I don't have a parking space in London anymore. So it makes sense for the car to go to a garage. And it's gonna to go to a garage that I'm sure all of you guys know quite well. Uh, to go there and go under the insurance of that place. Rather than me funding another like three months, let's say, of insurance. So whilst the car's up in the UK, it's gonna be up for sale because all the kind of stars have aligned and I'm a big believer in you can love cars. I mean, I, trust me, I love this thing and what it represents, but when the time is right, the time is right. And it's better to sell something while you still like it and wait until you, uh, you don't anymore. So I very, very much am having a hard time making this decision, but it just feels like the right time. I mean, literally it has to go up to the UK. And if it's going to be there, sat in a garage for three months, it might as well potentially go into the hands of someone who will enjoy it better. And I am jealous of whoever gets their hands on this thing. I mean, one of the other reasons why it's also going up so abruptly and we decided to film this video this evening all of a sudden is because guys who do all my car shipping happen to be coming down tomorrow to pick another car up. It's super bouncy this road, I'm sorry. It's probably a nightmare for you, Owen. Um, they happen to be in town tomorrow. So they gave me a call saying, look, it's gonna cost you half the price to send it up tomorrow than if we have to come back down um, to pick the car up as an individual job. So it has to be up before the end of the month anyways. I just figured, right, this is just a sign like the car needs to go up there. And whoever gets their hands on this car, I mean, Christ, it's got a brand new, pretty expensive steering wheel, <laughs> which would have been used twice. Brand new exhaust tips. The exhaust itself only has like, 
1500 miles on it the car itself is like spotless it's just had its service done like is this thing is basically like new and it is a beauty it's a manual v10 plus i think only six in the uk um super rare car and i've just set it up in a way that i, I feel really happy with it and you know i enjoy the process of setting these cars up just as much and honestly for me this thing has reached pretty much perfection it's a shame we couldn't get the rims on it in time but you know these things happen it has all the original pieces actually the original steering wheel the original exhaust the original exhaust everything to go back to fully original is available and the car is going to be going up to my friend Dean at DMB collection and it's going to be available with him you know I'll put um, all of the information all of the links below if you are interested in getting your hands on this thing the sound I mean it is a specially developed exhaust just for this car with the valves oh what a beauty like you only realize once you when you realize something's leaving is when you realize just how special it is let's turn around here this thing i think it deserves a bit of a send-off i think we should have a recap of a lot of the videos and experiences that we've made with it do you think you can put that together i one i think so yeah should let's do it i have to admit slightly stupidly i was making a video on the french channel which was Top five supercars for under 50,000 euros. I think we had 30,000 subscribers. I said, if this video gets 20K likes um, and 10,000 comments, which is unheard of, like, it, we thought it was impossible, um, I will buy one of these cars. No. Awesome, awesome stuff. Here it is. This is my brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus. I am so pumped. going to change the wheels so as you can probably tell i actually asked the audience to vote on preferences for the wrap j'adore j'adore honnêtement euh... un, un doré mais un doré euh, brutal et bestial je pense que ça, ça n'a strictement rien à voir comparé à la couleur originelle et c'est c'est original It looks really wacky and it just looks like I kind of yeah, went a bit nuts when designing this but there is a story behind it, there is a purpose behind it. You know, it kind of represents, I, I think, the channels really well, the French channel, the English channel and what we try to achieve on this. Uh, on this. And, it, you know, being able to bring out our creativity, our imagination, um, having all the subscribers on the back. It's kind of cool this because it, uh, I think we had, yeah, I mean, like, thousands and thousands of people who sent the photos in. We put as many as we could so that you could still see the photos, but if you ever see this car in real life, look for your photo because it may be somewhere on the back of this car. I just want to say, you know, like a huge thank you obviously to everyone who was involved in this, Johnny, Stars, everyone who's filming now. It's been an awesome, awesome adventure, but mainly I just want to say, obviously, a huge, huge, huge thank you to you watching this video if you're subscribed to the channel. And this was kind of my way, I guess, to say thank you for everything uh, that you've done for me over the years and all the support you've shown. So this car represents that. This is our car. Recap. I'm not even 
which one I want to. I know it sounds daft, but like, this is like a, a, quite an emotional thing. Even though it's just a car, I can hear you laughing behind that. But genuinely, like, I love this thing. You know, I really do. I've had it for a year now. And God, this is just so special. All right, let's park it up here. I want to have a look at this. This is, this is just like one of those moments. We've just taken all the photos, beautiful sunset, amazing view behind us, just special. And like, I was just thinking about like the, the whole project of this car. It has been a year. It's been, you know, 12 months, which is a good time to own a car like this. And it's a materialistic object, you know, never get too attached to it. I enjoy the process of creating a project and then, you know, moving on to the next project after that. So this has been so much fun. Thank you to everyone who helped with the design of the wrap. Oh, we got Bentley going fast. You guys helped choose what steering wheel I'd have, even though that didn't last too, too long. Yeah, you've just been, to you chose, in fact, that the actual car, it all started with a bet and we've ended up with this. It's been awesome. It's such a great car and one of those that, you know, who knows how much longer we'll be able to drive cars like this around. So, um, no, it is, it's an epic one. I will miss it for sure, but better to separate, sorry, separate yourself from it before it's too late and, and, and you start not liking the car quite as much. So I'll only have good memories of this thing. And yeah, I'm excited for the next person who'll own it. I mean, again, as I say, who knows? I might change my mind in a couple of months if it's not sold yet. I'm in no rush, you know, necessarily to sell it. I'm, Dean's gonna take great care of it. Um, I'd rather it goes to someone who's gonna treat it well and it goes for the right price because it really is in tip top condition and just try and get rid of it quickly. So yeah, this is it. This is the situation. It's all come about pretty last minute and I'm never gonna finish this video. I could keep blabbing on for ages. Should we give it a kiss goodbye, I one? Let's do it. Ah, what a great car, what great experiences and uh, thank you for uh, you know coming along. It's been a, so cool sharing the adventure of this car with it. Of course, other projects, still got the Ferrari. That's no plans for now of that to go anywhere. And yeah, I mean, there's still so much more that will come and this is gonna make room for more adventures in the future. So. Yeah, this chapter comes to an end. Thank you. Be in touch with Dean if ever you're interested in buying the car. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna say this, but I think it's a great, great buy. Uh, <laughs> it's like, well, no shit, Seb. But um, no, you'll have a great time with it. And uh, I just want someone who's gonna really enjoy it to end up having this car. So it's going back, it's gonna get de-wrapped straight away, and then we'll take it from there. But I wanted you guys to be the first to know we filmed this car, this video, basically as soon as I took the decision myself half an hour ago and yeah you're the first to know videos coming out i think tomorrow or the next day so enjoy enjoy <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying i'm gonna go like have one last crazy blast just me and owen in the car uh, enjoying it and uh yeah i guess that's pretty much it thanks for watching we have a different one today i'll see you again very soon cheers bye bye